My first encounter or first memory from designing games, mm, I would have to say back in 1998, where um, seven-year-old me and a friend had Fisher Price toys, a castle in the ship, and instead of just playing with them, we decided to make up rules for everything, from how long the, ca- the castle could stand the attacks of the ship, to how many units its army had, and who won at the end. Well, no wonder that I ended up making a lot of games after that. My first professional experience as a game designer was, I would say, back in 2012. I started getting small gigs about gamified apps and small games for clients. And after a while, I realized I wanted to make my own games as well. So I picked up Unity and designed my first self-published game, a game of coins. This was based on a physical prototype that my dad had devised when I was a kid. And, well, it was a pleasure to make it digital. My defining moment as a game designer... I would have to say back when I was 18, preparing for university entrance exams. I decided it was the greatest time of my life to write a 100-page long MMORPG design document. That's the equivalent of writing an 800-page novel as the first time you write anything. The good thing is that afterwards, 8 years later, I produced a game out of it. Little Arena. Why do I like designing games? Well, I feel they lay in the intersection of everything else I like engineering worlds and aesthetics and interactions and putting them all together. Right now, games are being used as just entertainment for 95% of the time. But as we move forward, I feel we will see more uses of them as political tools, activist tools, contemplation and self-reflection tools. And I think Filmy Filmy Not does something like this. It produces a dialogue, it prompts a dialogue between people who may not know each other by asking them Tough questions. Hmm, my aspirations about Film Me, Film Me Not. I could talk all about how I would love this game to spread to Greece, then Europe, then the world, starting here with you. But if I had to really capture it, it would be that at some point in my life, someone I don't know comes up to me and says, Hey man, you know what? I've had this game for a while. I've played it with friends, colleagues, even people I didn't really know back then. And we've talked about flirting, harassment, and everything in between. That game really changed us. And then they pull out their seasoned copy of Film Film Not. Now that would really make my day.